So well, you think this is Russia or something? It's uh, Russian style. Yeah. How are you? You know, <laughs> you know oh. I don't. Know, <laughs> I don't understand. This is in Sukhumvit. Oh, this is not Sukhumvit. This is uh, Plonchot or Plonchit or something like this. The mm -hmm. wireless road. My friend Dmitry Bortnikov. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri uh, has been distilling oud for many years in Thailand. He has his own line of perfume. And uh, I want to ask you, how did you get into making these perfumes? Like, what was the, like the initial, what sparked your, your initial interest in perfumery? Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, the Everything was start from the oud, yes, of course. It's been experiments with oud and uh, many years, but in time it was the, quite the boring, you know, the oud, already everything done, all experiments been done. Uh, and I start to do experiment how can I put the flower smell inside oud and oh. try to do infusion. I thought about that many, many times, many times, but I never actually did it. Okay, the first what I did is been uh, lotus. I make the good oud, it's been, it's been wild uh, mix like a Burma and uh, Khao Yai and Cambodia. I cook together and when I get the oil, so I receive oil and keep it in the receiver, clean boiler and put lotus, the lotus. What color? It's been the pink lotus. Pink lotus. Yes, I wow. was I was stay the outside Bangkok and see the lake with the lotus, and I think I have to the get it yes the flower. Did you actually? I mean, you personally went inside the lake. Go for myself. First time I go without jeans. Now of course it's water. I take out water water like like this, and the lotus. You know the inside uh -huh. is the empty, but outside is the scratch you scratch right yes so the everywhere leaf. everywhere between my finger everywhere I what the scratch second time i already detect jeans shirt shoes and go inside water but i forgot about snack you know they have snack stay in the water and oh lie down God. wow Walk and you don't know where the next step someone bite you or not many many insects in the water oh man so I had to get the pink lotus, the full boiler, finally, and start to do distillation. And the first time when the water, when the distillation start to go, yeah. the color of agar wood is become not clean no more, you know? I think I broke all my oil, you know? You it, ruined the oil. <laughs> yes, I think I, I lost all. Yeah. But smell come, I, I think, okay, the smell come, what, what, what can I do? Mm -hmm. And when I did dry, and the start to the, like make the hot, put lamp near near oil, everything okay. It's come back the color, become the clean, and all smell from lotus. It was the go in inside uh, agarwood oil. Now you understand, of course, that this is just a classic method of making attars. Like traditionally in India, they would do the same thing, only not with oud. They would do that with sandalwood. So they would take sandalwood. In, a, in the receptacle, like you mm -hmm. described, and then they would cook another aromatic to infuse the sandalwood with, like lotus, you know, also a possibility, uh, tuberose, jasmine, rose, these kind of things. And when the sandalwood becomes infused with the aroma of the secondary flower, that's what you call an attar, you know, traditionally. So you kind of like stepped up the attar game Yes, like taking agar wood. But it's been for me surprise. Many thousand years in India, people already do it. But I, when I when I make it, I don't know about this. And after, yeah. I think I open some new method. You know, you think you're the inventor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was the first one. Yes. And yeah. after I know in India, people many thousand years to have this technique, 
and I've been to this year in Kanauj. It's like a grass in India. The grass of India. And Kanauj, I saw yeah. from my eyes this receiver and how they put the sandal oil yeah. and the boiler. So the people already made this many hundred years, thousand years. So you thought that now. when you enter the distillery, they're going to like stand up and start clapping, like you know, like yeah, hey, like yeah, welcome yeah, yeah. to the great inventor of <laughs> atar making. <laughs> but then it was, they knew that for generations. Yeah, but uh, but l look, th this has been the first time. It's uh, lotus is the water flower, and how you know the right. water flower? It's not too much oil inside, and you cannot do distillate. If you want to make distillation of the lotus, it's nothing come. You need like thousands of pounds. No, of, of no, maybe, maybe it will be like the two drop, you know, yeah, yeah. something you like this. Tons and tons. Second time yeah. I make with the lilia, water lilia. Water lily. I come again, same area. And I see the lily. Next day, go. White, white lily or blue? Uh, no, this purple lily. Purple, purple water lily. Purple water lily. Very wow. beautiful. Wow. Come next day, where is lily? I think maybe daytime close, night and open, something like this. And I walk, walk. It's, it's, it's a river already. So the lotus is like a, the dirty lake, something like this. But lily is the river. And I walk, walk in the river, try to go get one. Already, the, already you know, the uh, water level in the lake, I, I can walk. Up to your chest. But Lilia is much more up. So I think, how can I do? I think, what can I buy? Maybe something, you know, for sleep and to put air inside, like a mattress. Yeah, yeah. And I can, well, any idea, I not find. <laughs> And I walk already very sad, the lily every day come and go. I think I wear flower to go, been a lot, and now next nothing. day nothing. Yeah. I walk and I can see big amount of the flower, but don't have the how can call this the the stem. Yeah. So after I know the Thai people sell ten Thai baht for the one for in the one market lily flower. and throw away no the flower throw away they need just the stem they only need the stem yes and i take all flower free already don't need to go <laughs> fly no, wow. do, not the swim nothing yeah well, i just find where he throw away and fresh one morning time he cut yeah after one hour two hour i come get 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 so you don't even need a raft you don't need a mattress no. to go into the water no. it's already the work is done for yes you. i just clean yeah make a lot it's been the second infusion and how much yield did you get from the lily as compared to the lotus how much was sorry like what was the how did the oil come out was it in an equal like equally uh, mm. low yield or was it look uh, Lily, same story. You cannot see any any oil. Just it's it's the amount agarwood is was same. Nothing more. But just the aroma, aroma will come. Aroma come. Yes. So aroma just come. Practically just like the atar infusion. Yes. Only so with agarwood. Yes, but after I try uh, make in uh, sandal sandalwood oil, mm -hmm. I try to make champaka. Champaka. Yes. yes. In the Bangkok have uh, night market. Yeah. Where the sale fresh flower the champaka and jasmine yes they put in the eyes so the one bag 100 flower uh -huh. so i buy like the no depend of my boiler yes it's the many kilo no maybe five five kilo you use and a champaka, very small boiler only five kilograms no can uh, can put maybe the three kilogram of the flower like this I see, I see. maybe maybe three and a half I yeah see. small boiler and Chimpaka has been a lot. I, I can see, you know, the, the drop is oil. Chimpaka gives a lot. Of a, lot. Yield. a lot. Wow. A lot. So now and we're going to have to, I don't want to change the subject, but can you make me a, like a Chimpaka oil, a pure Chimpaka, like without any Can standard? make, can make for sure. How much do you think I'd be looking at, like per kilogram? You, you know, to... Uh, I make the infusion to this time, yes, ah. I not to put pure, but amount of sandalwood is become much more after, I can see. Double? No, not double, no. 50% increase? I can, I think from the, but you have to understand the concentration, you cannot buy this, nobody will sell like this. Yeah. I, after I know, you know, because I make for myself and I can see the house smell like this uh, infusion I use in my perfume, uh, Vitiver Nocturne. 
Vetiver Nocturne. Yes, yes. in Vetiver Nocturne. I did a review of Vetiver Nocturne after you sent it to me, and I, I spoke widely about the white flowers that I could pick up in it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I make three times. One time the jasmine, take more sandal, uh, sandalwood oil. Again, uh, co-distillation, uh, jasmine and uh, champaka, and again champaka, infusion. Right. So yeah. the three times. So if you want to replicate the formula of this co-distillation, I need to again need to get cook champaka first. First, I need to get the powder of sandalwood. Right. Cook sandalwood. Indonesian sandalwood or Indian? I, uh, both. 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 I I cook Indonesian sandalwood. It's been it's been from the roots like a 100 years old tree, long time ago cut. Oh. And people the leave this, and after okay, they have the roots inside. They take out, mm -hmm. and we pay fifteen dollar up for every kilo, for they do test put in the water. Yeah. It's been the very cheap prices. Cannot fifteen dollars for one kilo of sandalwood. For test, for test, for they put in the water because they say, look, if we put in the water, not shiny. Yeah. Customer don't want to buy. They look not same. Yeah. So we say, okay, if fifteen dollar up, you will do it, no problem. Okay, and they put because uh, one time we buy with this test, mm -hmm. next time we buy, and oil become the smaller, maybe twice. You see what happened? They say we not do second time, we not put in the water, so we don't know the sinking or not. Oh. So very important, the sinking, sinking, sinking sandalwood, sandalwood yes. give you more oil than not sinking. Yes, and you bought these roots in Thailand. No, it's uh, in Indonesia. From Indonesia. From Indonesia. If you From can some find island. me, if you can find me like a ton of these types of roots, I'd be very interested to get this. I mean, this is sounds like a dream come true. This kind of distillation, you know. Last time uh, we buy, they have two hundred kilo. Two hundred kilograms. Yes, and and we was buy, maybe just like twenty something like this. And the rest. And still, I I think they still have. I can I can ask? Can I can I hold you hostage here until you give me the guy's phone number? Can. Can. Sure. Okay, this is a very kind person. I mean, he's willing sure. to, to give himself up his freedom just so I can make sandalwood oil. Of course, I'm joking. This is you but, know uh, you know. The, but look, uh, now in uh, Indonesia, don't have tree more old than 30, 35 years old. It's the top. Of it's course. like the honestly because they always the cut, and these roots. And the, the sinking, you know, this sinking like, the, yes, this is so special. I was going to, I mean, you know, I'm what I'm in the Far East, right, for. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make agarwood oil. Mm -hmm. Now I I'm, I'm have to apologize to my staff. We can't, we can't do this anymore. It's like we need to stop. Go get this 280 kilograms of, uh, of sandalwood or whatever he has now, 180, mm -hmm. you said and uh, make this oil because this sounds like a stupendous opportunity uh, we uh, was sent this oil to sultan pasha i think you know him yes this guy of course from, yes. yes my and, friend yes. and sultan pasha say this is the best sandalwood oil he ever tried in his life wow a uh, sultan pasha you know he make uh, atars he make atar yes. and he use a lot i know uh, he use uh, agarwood from your own? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. This, but the sandalwood, uh, how can I say, uh, don't have like the bright character. This is too, so creamy, you know. Woody, creamy. For, for Atar, he, he says this is not good for Atar. I see. It's not, uh, don't have the strong smell, same the India one, or, ah. or smell like uh, from... Uh, it's very delicate, you know. Very delicate. Yes, very delicate. Oh. So it's very nice for the use pure. Yes, I, I mean, I'm already sold on the idea. If you want to like uh, no, collaborate and but, get this. Uh, but if you will soak more long time, so this to give character. If you soak it. Yes, if for you a long soak time. it. Yes, it's, it's give you character. Right. That's that. I mean, that, that I, I respect that. I, I am not against people who soak, you know, their wood. Personally, part of my personal aesthetic is that I don't soak sandalwood and I don't soak agarwood. Mm -hmm. You know, because I want the, the smell, just as it is inside the tree, to be immediately and pristinely captured 
in this little bottle, you know, like you have a vial and it's, this is like the soul of the tree inside the oil, without any human intervention. I prefer not soaking, and I not soaking too when I cook agar wood right. and sandalwood too, but if you want to do special for your perfume composition, you need something with you a stronger have to character. Do, yes. You have to soak it. Yes, you have to soak it. Just for perfume, if you want to use for attar or for like the oil composition, you don't need to do it. Right, right. That's very interesting. Very yes, interesting. very interesting. So then you're telling us that you st first, I mean, the, 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 the original idea behind your perfumery adventure was from this pond with the lilies and the lotuses. You know what, I think, no, look, how can I play with agarwood oil? I already have, but I want to do composition. Yes. And I start to do composition from the infusion. Take right. this flower, this flower. And after I think, no, look, no, have the, so many flowers, I cannot all infuse, you know. Yeah. <laughs> all, all the time do infusion. And it's, you know, the Adam, he, the, my partner in the field wood. Yeah. He was the first, he made perfume and he showed me and I was like, Wow, you know, for me been, and my idea been go learn it, go in the Saint Petersburg, have mm -hmm. the school, mm -hmm. and go learn. And Adam say, look, we start to make distillation mm -hmm. to Agarwood. We learn. I told you already by WhatsApp from the Majid from Mecca, thanks him so much, and from another friend, we ask something and what we can see, but we learn for ourselves. Nobody teach like a class and we come how to do how to powder and what the boiler what the temperature yeah. we do experiments to so yeah. many time yeah. and after knowledge the come yeah yes of course and he say what you waiting for just try to do rather than distill everything in the pot and then end up with a distilled perfume from the pot i think that would take you maybe many years to do a complete perfume you'd have to distill everything you know start from like the cumin the coriander the pepper the grapefruit the, uh, you'd be spending no, many many no i i mean i mean uh, i want to learn how to create perfume no. so you i mean yeah so i mean you, you gave up your your idea of distilling in the pot everything together yeah it's impossible so just yeah, blend so the the yeah just components. this one yes, yes. But, but i want to try how this to buy and to mix ingredients has been interested for me. That's why how, how I become to infusion because agarwood, it's so, how can I say? No, look, it's just one oil, yes? Yes, right. this is nice oil. Is the, I can say the king of the oil is the top agarwood, yes? Of course, not, no question about yes. that. Yes, but it's very interesting to play with another one. I know you a long time to make atar already and everything. Yes. But for me, it's... I don't know about this nothing. And I haven't done co-distillations like the way that you describe other than with different species of agarwood. Mm -hmm. You must have heard like the Sultan oil, Sultan series, mm -hmm. you know, like, like for example, girnups with malakensis mm -hmm. or girnups with hirta or girnups with, uh, you know, subintegra krasna. or krasna or all of the different species. But uh, girnups and frangipani, that's, that's a new kind of dimension that I haven't explored. I think it, it just the idea of such an expensive flower oil. Frangipani I did too, infusion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, lo I love frangipani. It's just a question of like infusing like precious New Guinea agarwood with it. I don't know. I mean. One thing I can say from the already second year, my experiments with perfume, what you make oil for yourself, mm -hmm. what you create, okay, you buy flour and you make distillation, co-distillation, infusion, whatever. Yeah. You cannot buy it in the market. It's impossible. Oh, that's impossible. That's impossible. Yeah, that's impossible. So, then more your own ingredients in perfume, yes. then will be better quality. Better quality than when everyone has yes. access to. And will be different in the market. If so this is how we are different from another people because we because of your co-distillation use we use what we earn what we make to agar wood what we make to sandal wood right. we make the oil for our hand it's not we buy somewhere in india or other right so we make the distillation we control distillation we know how to heat how to hot how to dry how to everything also the scale that you operate on is a very small scale, very mm -hmm. limited batches, mm -hmm. five kilograms you mentioned at one time. 
So imagine like this perfume that is made out of this unique batch that's co-distilled inside the perfumer's house by his own hands. I mean, I think that's remarkable. I don't think anybody else can claim to have done that before. No. Yeah. So from this angle, you did kind of like do something that is uh, groundbreaking in perfumery in that you made your own co-distillations mm -hmm. and then you blended those with other aromatics like pepper and grapefruit and lime and vetiver and these things. Yeah, those, about this perfume, yes, it's been like this. It's, yes. it's, it's been the, the hut, this sandalwood with, uh, the, with the white flower in. Yeah. And I start to the play, yes, how can I do this? Uh. Interesting. Can you tell us how you got into oud distillation? Like, how did you start feel oud? How did that happen? How this was happened? Okay. Uh, first, have to say how I was met the Adam. How you met Adam? Yeah. Yes. Yeah.